Okay, hello everyone. Today I'm going to uh, show you a deck that was made by myself and also uh, with the help of uh, Mao. And um, you can see uh, this is the rank match result in my replay. Uh, out of the 10 game I play, I only lose one game to a vampire, uh, which I have the front guard general in play, but uh, he top deck the the burn, burn tree spell so yeah and I have some play miss there as well so um, now I'm going to show you about the deck and maybe I, I will go through some of the replay yeah. so this is a mid range royal um, that is capable of uh, closing the game very fast and also capable of like holding the, the ground and uh, play around uh, all the uh, aggro vamps and eventually they just uh, out of gas and they just concede the few key cards that I would like to talk about is the white paladin the white knight the Amelia and uh, Aurelia um, and uh, of course one front guard general and one Elvira <coughs> it's a bit weird I mean the the configuration, I mean, this deck has been in the format for so long and everyone already knows it. Uh, but I do play in this particular uh, build for some reasons. Uh, if you think that uh, your meta have more control vam than the... Uh, I mean, aggro vam and also those uh, aggro combo elf, maybe you can change one Sage Commander to one Elvida. And now, uh, let's go ahead and take a look of some of the replay video. Yeah, the reason why um, now because the the replay is available, and uh, this actually helps a lot because I don't really need to like play and also uh, do the commentary at the same time. It's a bit tiring, and sometimes I just uh, it just actually make me uh, like distract me, and then. Eventually, I have some play miss, and now uh, this actually just uh, made me able to um, focus my gameplay more. Uh, okay, so I'm going first against um, L. So it's quite a rare matchup actually that I really like to pick up because uh, L was the top tier deck from the very beginning of Shadowverse until now. But now a lot of people say that um, well, it's, it doesn't really see play that much. A lot of people tend to like forget about this deck but it's still good and not to mention that they have new um, zero core, more zero core spells to play around and to have the uh, combo queue so okay the first two turn the, the veteran lancer and uh, novice trooper is uh, yeah, so I'm getting uh, good trades around and then maintain the board and here are uh, because the opponent will have the evolve, so the best play here will not be Amelia because she will just get killed by anything, almost anything in the you know, opponent's deck. So you might as well just play Mei and something else for your opponent to actually get rid of them, and then you just um, play back with uh, Flora Fencer. So it's a more effective way of uh, using your evolve spell as well. And then now we get to. Use for offense, and then we have two chart, two two different way of plays. The opponent have uh, we just evolve for offense attack, and then if our opponent uh, cannot clear our board, then we uh we just play El uh Elvida. and if opponent just like uh, clear our board and have a lot of things in play, then we can still play MDR and hope we top that some like one or two cost spells to follow up. But uh, Amelia is doing some serious good job here and uh, because I have a 2 core spells that really one that really makes me feel like playing uh, Amelia first because uh, the, my 3-2 will actually protect my 5-1 from my opponent's evolve which is what I was thinking and uh, I'm too focused in the tempo and I didn't really uh, yeah I didn't expect the view of the forest to, to come out here and it really just clear my board but it's still fine because I have the front guard general um, the most difficult card to deal with in the whole uh, swordcraft so 
evolve the Emilia here, but I won't die actually unless he have something else. So yeah, he have a spell for it, but still I have a two three um ward left over, and I have the spell to actually remove his five one as well. And I can play uh yeah I was thinking whether I wanna play Alvida or I wanna play Six Commander but I was like yeah definitely I'm going for like a wider board and also the next turn I can actually play Noah's Trooper plus Six Commander that is just a so awful situation that I can I never really ask for more I, I don't think I can ever ask for more that's just like the best situation it can be but my opponent actually just come out with a five six and Chanel is still a very powerful card. And uh, I have to give up my 3-2 and my 2-2 here. The reason is uh, you, you are playing against, you expect your opponent to be a tempo L. And also your opponent just like, um, have so less cards in the... Yeah, they only have like 15 cards in the in the graveyard. So it's quite unlikely that I'm actually playing first. So yeah, I just want as much ward as I can to actually store them and eventually just win with the bot presence especially when we have like 19 life total is really high and I do expect my opponent to have problems to deal with, deal with especially when he don't have evolve and also he only have like maybe uh, he already used all his zero cost fairy so it's very clear that he is really going out of gas very soon so instead of uh, sharing the board I choose to go to opponent phase the reason is um, 3 is the magic number because we have a lot of way to actually deal 3 damage even just with top decks so yeah my opponent just concede because he just realized that uh, it's impossible for him to kill the bot he's so huge and also uh, he won't be able to kill me because I have so much lives okay so now uh, let's go ahead and uh, look at some other uh, more uh, toward the, the, the top 2 meta of the format now which is the aggro vam and the daria witch but actually I'm not 100% sure whether this is aggro vam or control vam because I remember if I'm not wrong if I'm not wrong I play one game against a uh, control, uh, control vam actually but that game is rather fast so I don't really mind if it, it was that but yeah, just, just, uh, if, if it's wrong, then I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, in this game, I'm going first. Um, um, yeah, one, two drops, uh, play accordingly, play accordingly. As long as I have the bot presence, it should be fine. But I really want a commander here, but unfortunately, I didn't get one that I can play for now, but I still have to get rid of areas anyway. Because it just, uh, promotes so much threats there. And my opponent actually choose to go face, which is a really interesting um, decision. And um, lucky enough, I actually top deck the Novash Trooper to actually uh, clear his board. I do expect Bumpy, but actually he don't have that. But instead, he's playing the uh, removal spell and uh, just have more bats in play. But I don't really understand why he don't involve here. Which I do think is a very bad decision. Yeah, if he evolves here, then he will have a 3 2 at, uh, and he can evolve another bat. Or I rather, I have to use my Aurora to actually get rid of the 3 2, so I will left with 5 defense. But because now I, my Aurora is at 7 7 and it's immune to the spell, it's almost impossible for him to actually remove it anytime soon. So uh, I want to just get the most advantage of the Aurelia now. Uh, I just take the damage, all the damage from US, I just play the spell so that I can get my extra soldiers as well. And I evolve, I take all the 4 damage, only I kill US. But the thing is, uh, I have so much damage on the board. And also I have the Siege Commander and Otohime combo that uh, can definitely take over the board even after this. So, good luck, uh, lucky enough my opponent actually don't have the Revelation, but I don't think any any of them will actually play that as well. <laughs> so yeah, and then uh, now about another uh, top meta <coughs> for the time being, another top meta, the Daria Witch. Uh oh, okay. Uh, 
Maybe I wanna look for another one, but okay, let's just see this. Um, yeah, I think in this match, both of us actually have very weird, um, uh, very weird draw, and then end up eventually he just don't have Daria. If I'm not wrong, then he just don't have Daria, and just eventually out of gas and die. I'm not 100 percent sure, but I think it is the match that he just run out of gas. I mean, I played this uh, like slightly earlier in the afternoon. So of course, our third, <coughs> and then he bounced my um, two drop, which is amazing because although he get to draw, uh, filter the cards, but I I can still attack for three eastern, and I have a better four play uh four to cast play, I mean a better play in turn four, so I don't really mind. Although the wind blast actually take away my uh, main attacker, so okay, this is the this is a funny situation that I talk about just now is. You always want to play mate either on the turn that your opponent can evolve. The reason is because if they can revolve, it means that they can most likely wipe your board. So you don't want to waste <coughs> your quality followers to your opponent evolve. Well, so what you do is you just play mate leader for them to actually kill it and then they will still take some damage out of it and then we can have like a better trade after that. So yeah, this is the tricky part because uh, I was thinking that he is actually playing a dimension shift, which instead of uh, Daria, so that was a mistake from my side. <laughs> but uh, lucky enough, my opponent don't really have Daria. So yeah, I actually play this because I think he might be. Uh... I want to just save my evolve. Uh... For later, but uh, yeah, I'm just going to just play Rohime here, and uh, now there's another tricky play here. I decided to attack the 2 2 instead of the 4 1. The reason is because the 2 2 can eat my 1 2 followers, but the 4 1 can only trade with my 1 2. So, this is the way that I want to just um, completely kill his bot. Is that uh, it's either you want to go face or I challenge you to go my face, it's something like that. So, eventually, he take the, take the trade. And uh, he even used up his uh, magma magic to clear off the one two. So the gazer come into play. So now I have a rough idea that this should be uh, Daria instead of uh, Dimension Shift, or maybe it's a hybrid. So I'm not really afraid of hybrid anyway. So I'm just going to take control of the board, try uh, use my portal to protect my other followers, and have the strong presence to actually. Finish him, finish him off next turn. Well, he's already low in cuts. So, yeah. So, yeah, I, I don't think I play against another... Yeah, I, I don't think I play against another Daria. Because my, my matchup, most of my matchup is actually playing Vampire. Yeah, I think most of my matchup is actually playing Vampire. So let's take a look of another one. I think this is another one, right? Yeah, this is another one. I think if this is not wrong, this should be the control. Yeah, this should be the control van matchup. Which Bowboy is really unlucky, and I think later you can see how. Uh, but I'm going to explain uh, some of the moves maybe. No, this is not, this is not. In this case, this is not. Uh, I don't think the control van play the one drop. So, of course, the, the ward is important. Oh, yeah, this is the aggro. This is the aggro van also. So, in this matchup, I think, yeah, the. You can realize that my curve against aggro van, right? What you want is turn 2 lancer, turn 3 uh, troop, some trooper. So, uh, they were just block your opponent almost like forever so it's really good yeah and then now this I actually think about it for a while and I decided to just play this the reason is because the next turn if your opponent just uh, have a lot of creatures I can play Aurelia and then if you don't I can just play for rough answer and then eventually play uh, 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 El Albert to actually take advantage of the storm 
But I drew a Vanguard, so I decided to just play the Vanguard and Flora because of, even though I have to pick the 5 1, but uh, I have a stronger bot presence. And in this case, uh, I can almost guarantee a uh, spell immune uh, already on next turn, so there's no reason why not to do so. So, yeah, in this. Uh, this game you see, my opponent actually evolved one of the U3 So <coughs> this actually uh, makes him uh, in a much better position when I actually play my uh, Aurelia Because you really need two evolve to get rid of one evolve Aurelia in like 50% of time uh, So I decided to just uh, trade all his bad while I can And my opponent used the removal on uh, Vanguard and he played the US <coughs> although the Urus is very although Urus looks very good against um Royal but to be very honest the Aurelia just take up so much tempo and my opponent is almost out of gas and I'm still at a healthy 12. So I'm going to play Albert and take the one damage, kill off the Urus and then only I play the the Ward the 3 2 Ward and then my opponent now is without evolve and we do really have some serious trouble to actually kill this bot. But uh, yeah, he's lucky enough that uh, he just keep drawing token generator and like have gen uh, have multiple creatures, keep having multiple creatures to play. So I was thinking whether I want to leave him a bat or not, and uh, I was worried about the Gabriel, which I don't really think anyone anyway, actually still playing that, but. Uh, to be just to be safe because he only have two cards in hand and then I do I don't think he can actually out for um his card quality can be actually higher than Albert. So I decided to take this like I, a bit of waste waste but uh as long as I get my bot presence there and I still have eight life and I can trade my opponent in two turns so I really think that I'm really in a good position. Uh, now he play a ward, but it doesn't really do anything. I can actually just chop off his life total rather fast. Uh, just, uh, yeah, just another note is uh, because of the legends, the seven cost uh, deal two damage legends. So I decided not to attack with my three three uh Albert. Instead, I attack with my three one. Uh, three two. So it makes it a three one. But uh, if we play the legends, the seven cost legends. I will take less damage and also I'll have one more Albert in play. Yeah, so this is something that I like to talk about. So, once again, thanks for watching. Uh, if you have any idea, any comment, just uh, leave it in the comment state. And I hope to see you guys around soon.